hello and welcome to my youtube channel today we are going to talk about arduino programming using proteus and we will learn how to generate different sounds and tones using arduino board let's begin the video in this video we are going to talk about generating sounds using arduino to generate sound using arduino we can use a function called tone function which is available in the Arduino itself. So Arduino library provides you tone function which can be used to generate sounds. So what is tone function? Tone function is used to generate square waves. Okay. Remember it generates square wave not sine wave. So the sound will not be very melodious, but it will be like small toys sound and all. So tone function can be used to generate square wave at any pin of Arduino board. And these square waves frequency can be changed by using some arguments in the tone function. So let us explore more if you suppose generate a square wave using tone function in Arduino board then it is stopped by using no tone function until unless we do not use or apply no tone function on that pin we cannot use tone function on any other new pin so what are the important points to remember when we are using tone function? First point to remember is that at any instance of time, only one tone can be generated. So you can generate early only one particular frequency. If you want to change the frequency, you will have to change the functions value or parameter. So accessing tone function on multiple fin pins will generate an error, not an error, but it will not generate the results which you are or we are expecting so it is not advisable to use tone function simultaneously on multiple pins what else remember it is not possible to generate tones lower than 31 hertz using tone function so the lower limit is 31 hertz and the higher frequency of course is dependent on our ear which is 20 kilohertz we can go further but it is not going to give us any impression of sound because we cannot hear beyond 20 kilohertz so lower frequency range is 31 hertz so what is the syntax to use tone function we have to pass at least two arguments in the tone function one is the pin on which we want to generate the tone and then the frequency of the square wave that we want to pass to that particular pin. So this is one way to express tone function. Another way is to use three arguments in which we have to specify the pin number, then the frequency and apart from that we can even provide the duration for which the tone will be played and the duration that we write here will be in milliseconds so this is all about the basics of tone function and we are now going to explore these facilities using examples so let us first move to the first example and see how to generate sound in Arduino so this is my schematic here we have been using the basic Arduino 328 schematic previously in many other lectures. If you have not visited the or if you don't have any idea about this particular schematic then I would request you to visit my previous videos. Now what we are doing we are using three speakers and we are connecting these speakers to pin number 6, 7 and 8. So for getting the speaker you can go to right click place component and then from library we can choose speaker 
and we can use this speaker active loudspeaker model analog output via sound card okay so you can use this speaker and then place it on the schematic one of the leg for the speaker will go to the ground and the other leg will be connected to any desired pin that we want to use to generate the sound so here pin number 6 7 and 8 are used let us go through the code in the source code we are not using anything in the setup so there is no setup kind of functionality required for this program because this is the basic program so first we are telling the system no tone on pin number 8 so pin number 8 will not generate any sound now play a note on pin number 6 so here the first pin or the first argument is the pin number okay pin number then the second argument is the frequency so frequency is 440 hertz and then duration is 200 millisecond then we will be playing this tone after that we will provide a small delay of 200 millisecond then no tone on pin number 6 because pin number 6 has played its tone and we will then pass a no tone function or a command so that we can go to next pin which is our pin number 7 and again in pin number 7 we are providing another frequency 494 hertz for a time period of 500 millisecond and then a delay of 500 millisecond in this way we are generating or we are making a sequence of functions by making no tone and tone function to generate different sound for different delay period in this way we can play around the numbers to generate different tones so let us first uh, build the program so for to build the project we have to go up and click this button and once the building is over we will get a message whether the program contains any error or no error so let us check whether there is any error on the program shown above so it says compiled successfully so there is no error in our program let us play the program so though this the tone might not be that good or the the sequence might not be that beautiful but you can keep playing with the numbers in the tone function and the delay to generate different melodious tones so this was the first example so let us go to check the second example in this example we'll be using tone function apart from that we'll be using a header file called pitches.h let me show you what is there inside that so in the pitches.h header file we are defining variable note b0 note c1 note cs1 d1 because these are the different names and we are providing different values to these particular variables so what these variables are going to do in our program so this is how we have listed a long make that make we have made a long list of notes which will which can be used in our main program now here in this program we are defining a variable called melody which is of integer type and an array an array which contains one two three four five six seven eight elements okay so what are these elements if you have noticed these are the elements which are taken from the pitches dot h file header file which we have defined in the pitches dot h file and then we are using notes duration array 
and we are specifying some numbers like 4, 8, 8, 4. It, you can change these numbers. Okay. So these are nothing but will be used to generate the note of that particular frequency. Let us go down. Here in the setup again we are not using any setup configuration. In the loop we are writing a function which will keep on repeating for infinite time period. So what is inside the loop? We are using for function for okay, this note this note is a variable of integer type which will be starting with 0 and it will continue till 8. Why? Because we are using 8 elements in the melody array. Okay, so that's why we are using this note to check all or to go through all the 8 notes. In that, what we are doing? Note duration is equal to 1000 divided by note duration this note so whichever note we will be calling okay we will be dividing it by thousand to get the time period for which that particular note has to be played okay now we will be using the tone function where we are passing three arguments the first argument is the pin number on which the tone has to be played second the array melody where the melody will be using this note argument or we will go from we will take value from this note okay which is provided in the melody array and then we'll be using note duration to play that particular note for that particular period okay to, to get the effect of the or to experience the effect of that tone we will be keeping that tone playing for a certain duration for which we are assuming 1.3 times or 30 percent time percent time we will be playing the tone for example if the tone is of eighth note then eighth note time period plus 30 percent time period okay you can change this value and see the effect accordingly now let us first build the program okay so we are building the program if there is any error we will get the error and then we will play this particular function or this program in our Arduino board so the compilation is over and like I showed in the previous example we will be using this loudspeaker and we are going to connect this loudspeaker to pin number 8 because in the code you can observe we are passing the tone on pin number 8 okay so let us play this code so in this way you can make a sequence of different arrays or different arguments in the arrays or different values in the arrays and you can change the melody of the song which you want to be which you want to play using Arduino. So please try to keep changing this program and see the effect on the sound that you generate. Let's go to the third example. In the third example we will be using a different approach to play tone. Okay, first of all, let us try to understand this particular schematic here. What is in the schematic? In the schematic, we are using three switches, switch number one, two and three, which are in the pull down configuration. Okay, because you can see here the node is connected to ground via register 10K and by default it is open and the junction is connected to AD0, analog input 0, analog input 1 and analog input 2. So these are the three switches and I am using push to on switch. So for that you can go to place, component, go to libraries and just type button. Okay, use this 
बटन एक्टिव एस टी एस टी पुश बटन ओके एंड देन यू कैन प्लेस इट ऑन द स्कीमेटिक एंड मेक द सर्किट लाइक दिस टू रोटेट दिस बटन सेलेक्ट द बटन एंड देन प्रेस प्लस और माइनस साइन टू रोटेट इट क्लॉक वाइज और एंटी क्लॉक वाइज दिस इज वन अप्रोच अदरवाइज यू कैन राइट क्लिक एंड रोटेट क्लॉक वाइज राइट क्लिक रोटेट क्लॉक वाइज सो इट इज योर चॉइस वेदर यू वॉन्ट टू यूज माउस और की बोर्ड टू रोटेट द स्विच टू मेक दिस पर्टिकुलर सर्किट एंड फॉर वी सी सी एंड ग्राउंड आई हैव शोन यू इन द प्रीवियस वीडियोज स्टिल लेट मी शो यू अगेन सो प्लेस टर्मिनल एंड देन गो टू ग्राउंड to place the ground in the circuit okay to place vcc or power supply go to place terminal power and place it there and then double click on that and provide the string plus 5 v okay so plus 5 v means 5 volt will be provided to this particular pin and whichever voltage you want okay in general we will be using 5 volt because arduino uses 5 volt in the input pins and similarly we use loud speaker which is connected to pin number 8 and to see or observe the square wave generated by the tone function we will be using an oscilloscope which will be connected to pin number 8 to place the oscilloscope you can go to right click place virtual instruments and then oscilloscope simple okay and then after that you can just double click it here and rename the pin to which you want to connect i have shown this in my previous videos please visit it if you have not seen them and let us go through the code here again we are using pitches.h header file okay and then we are using a variable threshold which is of data type int or integer which is a constant so this value of 10 will not change throughout the program because we are declaring it as a constant now we are using or we are declaring an array of three members one node a4 two node b4 and node c3 which are taken from the pitches.h okay you can change this values according to your choice then after that we are not using any setup because we are trying to generate a tone so go to void loop in that we are using for function for declaring a variable this sensor you can use any other name and this sensor less than 3 why because we are you going to use three values from the notes array so it should be less than 3 and if you want to change the number of elements here then change them and accordingly change the less than number value then we will be using analog read to read the switch which are connected to the analog input pins and then which will be passed to sensor reading so if the sensor reading is greater than threshold which is 10 then we will be using tone function on pin number 8 to generate a note for 20 milliseconds now let us check the fourth example in this example we will be using another approach to play sound on the speaker using tone function here we are using an ldr sensor as a switch 
speaker is connected to pin number 9 and then we are using serial monitor to check some messages it is not mandatory to keep this in the program so to check the data coming on the serial pin we will be using serial begin function apart from that we will be using sensor reading variable which will take the data from the analog pin A0 and store it in the sensor reading pin we will be printing that value it is not mandatory if needed you can use it otherwise leave it or you can comment it then we are using another variable sound which is used to map or this is the map function which is provided by the Arduino language so map function reads the value which is provided by the A0 pin which is stored in the sensor reading variable and it changes or maps the value which is coming on the sensor reading variable from one range to the another range or this, this is the starting range to the end range and it will be modified from a, to a new starting range to end range and that particular sound variable is passed into the tone function and we are here mentioning that the function will be passing the tone to pin number 9 and each tone will be played for 10 millisecond and we are using a delay of 1 millisecond it is not that important if you need you can keep it otherwise again you can comment it let us build the program So once the program is compiled then we can play the schematic or run the schematic and see the effect of our code. So here LDR is reading the value. So in this way by changing the intensity of light on the LDR we can keep changing the tone which will be played on the speaker. Please use these schematics to design your circuit and test it on real time. Thank you and if you have any doubt or suggestions please post your doubts and suggestions in the comment section. If you have not subscribed the channel then I would like to request you to please subscribe the channel and thank you for watching this video. Stay safe.